In this video, we take a look at the addition and subtraction of binary integers. So before we work through some examples with you, let's just go over the basic rules for binary addition. So they're quite simple. A zero and a zero in binary equals zero. A zero and a one equals one. A one and a one can't equal two because we don't have a two in binary. So a one and a one in binary equals zero. And then we carry a one to our next column because one zero in binary is the deanery number two. And finally, one one and one in binary is one carry the one because one one and one obviously is three we can't have a three in binary so we carry one into the next column which would give it a weighting of two plus the one left over in this column for three so let's work through some examples so here we have a binary number line and we always suggest you write this out in the exam you start with a one on the far right and then you double each column as you go to the left two four eight etc We've shown you the two deanery numbers on the right we're going to add together. So we're going to add together 85 and 170. So I've sped things along here and written out those two binary numbers. Now in the previous video, we showed you how to do that. But here we're going to focus on adding them together. So we're going to start on the right hand side with a column that has a weighting of one. And we just follow the four rules of binary addition we went over at the start of the video. So a 1 plus a 0 is a 1. A 0 plus a 1 is a 1. A 1 plus a 0 is a 1. A 0 plus a 1 is a 1. A 1 plus a 0 is a 1. A 0 plus a 1 is a 1. A 1 plus a 0 is a 1. And a 0 plus a 1 is a 1. A nice, simple, tidy, easy example to start with. We add up every column. That has a 1 in it, so that's all of them, 128 plus 60 plus 32 and so on, and we get 255, which of course is the original numbers 85 and 170 added together. Okay, so let's take a look at another example, this time 43 plus 74. So here I am again, and I've written out the two binary numbers, so let's start on the right. A 1 and a 0 is a 1. A one and a one is a zero, and then we carry a one to the next column. It's important to show these carries in the exam. Write them underneath. So now we have a zero and a zero, and the carry one, well, zero and zero and one, is one. One and one is zero, carry the one. Zero, zero, and the carry one is one. One and zero is one. 0 and 1 is 1, and 0 and 0 is 0. Again, you add up the columns that have the 1s in, so that's a 64 plus a 32 plus a 16 plus a 4 and a 1, giving us 117. Let's do one last example here. So we've got the numbers 95 and 222 in deanery. There they are, written out under their binary weighting lines. Again, we start on the right hand side. We have one and zero is a one. A one and one is a zero, carry a one. A one, one and a carry one is one, carry a one. Again, we have a one, one and a carry one is a one, carry a one. Another one, one and a carry one is one, carry the one. Zero, zero plus a carry one is just one. One and one is zero, carry a one. And here we have a zero, one and a carry one is zero. And we need to carry an extra one. And what's happened here is we've got an overflow. Our carry one has gone beyond the capacity of our current storage line. And this is something which might crop up in the exam. The deanery numbers 95 plus 222 should equal 317. 
But if we read back the number we've actually got, we've got a 1 in the 32 column, a 1 in the 16, an 8, a 4, and a 1, and that does not equal 317. You might have spotted the reason for that. That's because the deanery number 95 can be stored in an 8-bit binary waiting line, and the deanery number 222 can be stored in an 8-bit binary waiting line. But the sum of those two numbers, 317, is too big to be stored in an 8-bit binary waiting line. The maximum number that could be stored is 255. We get this overflow and the resulting number is now meaningless. You would need to add an extra column on the left beyond the 128 with a weighting of 256 to store this number. Now, as mentioned right at the start of this video, you can be expected to add up to three 8-bit binary integers together. Now, the process is exactly the same as the ones we've just been going for. You just have a third binary number to add. So let's add the decimal values 76, 17 and 103 together. As always, the first job is to write out each of those decimal values in their 8-bit binary form, nice and neatly underneath each other in columns. We then start with the right-hand column. So we've got a 0, a 1 and a 1, which is 0, carry the 1. We then have 0, 0, 1 and the carry 1. And again, that's 0, carry the 1. We now have a 1, 1 and a carry 1, which of course is 3 in decimal or 1, 1 in binary. So 1, carry the 1. 1, 0, 0 and the carry 1 is 0, carry the 1. 0, 1, 0 and the carry 1 is 0, carry the 1. 0, 0, 1, carry 1 is 0, carry the 1. 1, 0, 1, 1 is 1, carry the 1. And then finally, 0, 0, 0 and the carry 1 is obviously just 1. We now add up each of the columns from our answer that have a 1 in it. So we have 128 plus a 64 plus a 4. And our decimal value we're after is 196. Finally, let's go over a worked example of binary subtraction. So we're going to do 73 minus 106. So the easiest way of performing binary subtraction is to turn the number we want to subtract into its negative version and then add the two numbers together using the normal binary addition we've been following. So we're going to turn 106 into minus 106 and then perform the following addition, 73 plus minus 106. So we're going to follow the rules here for flipping a number from its positive to negative version. So we're going to start with the least significant bit and we're going to copy every digit up to and including the first one. So we copy the zero and we copy the one. We then flip all the remaining digits. So zeros become ones and ones become zeros. And we now have negative 106. We can ignore that middle number now and we can perform the standard addition on the positive number 73 added to the negative number 106. So a 1 and a 0 is a 1, a 0 and a 1 is a 1, a 0 and a 1 is a 1, a 1 and a 0 is a 1, a 0 and a 1 is a 1, a 0 and a 0 is a 0, a 1 and a 0 is a 1, and a zero and a one is a one. Now note obviously the left hand column here is representing minus 128. So we have one minus 128 plus a positive 64 bringing the number up plus a 16, eight, a four, a two and a one ending up with minus 33. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. How do you perform addition and subtraction on positive and negative twos complement binary integers?